इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन वी आर गिवन अ कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन एफ कोलन क्लोज इंटरवल ए टू बी टू क्लोज इंटरवल वन टू इन्फिनिटी एंड देर इज अनदर फंक्शन जी एक्स डिफाइन फ्रॉम आर टू आर डेफिनेशन ऑफ जी एक्स इज गिवन टू बी इक्वल टू जी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर एक्स लेस देन ए ए टू एक्स एफ टी डी टी फॉर एक्स ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू ए लेस देन इक्वल टू बी एंड देन ए टू बी एफ टी डी टी फॉर एक्स ग्रेटर देन बी दिस इज द फंक्शन जी एक्स डिफाइंड नाउ वी हैव टू डील द क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑप्शन so let us first check the continuity of the function so doubtful points are a and b if we take at a g of a negative equals to 0 if we read g of a positive it will become a to a ft dt so that is also 0 and here equality is given so from here g of a is again 0 implies g is continuous At x equal to a. Similarly, we check the continuity of the function at x equal to b. So, g of b negative we read. From here, g of b negative will be a to b f t d t, and which is also equal to g of b positive and g of b since equality is given. So, this implies. That g is continuous at x equal to b also. Now, since the function is continuous and we want to check the differentiability, we differentiate this functional rule. So, g dash x is equal to zero for x less than a. It is f x for x greater than a less than b. and then we have zero as a to b f t d t is constant for x greater than b now if we read g dash a negative it is zero whereas if we read g dash a positive it is f of a positive which is f a now since we know that the codomain of the function is closed interval 1 to infinity therefore f of a is positive and therefore we see that g dash a negative is not equal to g dash a positive hence g is non derivable at x equal to a now g dash b negative we can see clearly that this is equal to f of b which is going to be a positive quantity because of the codomain and g dash b positive is going to be zero therefore g dash b negative is not equal to g dash b positive therefore g is non derivable at x equal to a as well as b so if we read the option gx is option a is correct gx is continuous but not derivable at a as well as option c is correct gx gx is continuous but non derivable at x equal to b option b is obviously wrong and option d is obviously wrong so the correct answer for this question is a and c in question 42 we are given two functions f and g 0 to 1 closed interval to r and it is told that their maximum values are same we take two cases let f and g attain their maximum value at same x then this implies fx minus gx is equal to 0 for some x in closed interval 0 to 1 this is case 1 if we take another case let f and g attain their maximum value at different x that is 
let f of a is equal to capital M and f of b is equal to capital M where a b belongs to 0 to 1 and a is not equal to b. Now in this case we can say that f a minus g a is going to be greater than 0. So here g takes the maximum value at b. In this case f a minus g a is greater than 0 as f attains the maximum value and at this point g is not attending the maximum value. So f a minus g a is positive and f b minus g b is negative as at b g is attending the maximum value but f is not attending the maximum value. This implies f x minus g x is equal to 0 for some x belonging to open interval a comma b which is the subset of closed interval 0 comma 1. Therefore in general we can say that for some c f c minus g c is equal to 0 for some c belonging to closed interval 0 to 1 in general we can give this statement. Now if we look at option number a option a can be written as f square c minus g square c plus 3 times f c minus g c equal to 0 for some c belonging to 0 to 1 which is true from 1. So this is true from 1. Similarly if we take option number d it says f square minus g square is equal to 0 for some c belonging to close 0 to 1 this is again true from 1. For option b and option c we can say that if we take the function fx is equal to 1 and gx is equal to 1 let us say I take two constant functions then for both the options option b and option c fc will be always 1 and gc will be always 1 and therefore the LHS of the options is not matching with the RHS of the options therefore options b and c are incorrect options b and c are incorrect. Therefore the final answer to this question is option A and option D. In question number 43 we are given a 2 by 2 symmetric matrix with integer entries. So let us assume it to be like A C B B. Now this is matrix capital M. Now we will have to go option by option so if I, we read option A the first column of capital M that is AB is equal to the transpose of the second row of capital M. Second row is this if we take the transpose we have B equal to C. Now if we equate the terms we have A equal to B equal to C. So if we call this to be alpha the matrix M will become equal to alpha 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 and obviously determinant of M will be equal to 0. But we are given in option A that the, uh, uh, in the question we are given that capital M is invertible and according to option A it is not coming out to be invertible therefore option A is incorrect. In the very similar manner if we go for option B the second row of matrix M. If we pick the second row of matrix M this is B C is the transpose of the first column of M and that is A B. If we take the transpose it is A B. So if we equate B equals to A and C equals to B that means all the entries again match and therefore determinant M will be again equal to 0 and therefore matrix M will not be equal to an invertible matrix therefore option B is also incorrect. Now let us move on to option C. M is diagonal matrix with non-zero entries in the main diagonal. Of course in such case of course in such case our matrix will be invertible as here you will have AC and diagonals are given diagonal matrix is given so non-diagonal element becomes 0 so determinant M is equal to AC which is according to option not equal to 0 therefore again option C is correct M is invertible matrix. In option D the product of entries in the main diagonal of M is not equal to the square of the integer. If we take the matrix M as it is and if we take the determinant value then it is AC minus B square and it is giving us in option D that AC is not a perfect square so this quantity cannot be equal to 0. Therefore again option D is correct. 
बिकॉज एम इज कमिंग आउट टू बी नॉन इन्वर्टेबल मेट्रिक्स देयर फोर ऑप्शन सी एंड ऑप्शन डी आर करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए एंड बी आर नॉट करेक्ट 